So the type of interaction I would like to see my guests have here uh, with my staff or the volunteers and interns um, is just mesmerizing. So I've seen so many times guests go up to a tank They're super cute. Um, then my staff will come over and say, Did you know? Hi, my name is Jean, and I'm an educator here at the Long Island Aquarium. My name is Patrick O'Connor, I am an education supervisor here at the Long Island Aquarium. My name is Josh, I am an educator here at the Long Island Aquarium. I'm Colette, I'm the director of education here at the Long Island Aquarium. Here at the aquarium, educators are interacting with our guests directly at the Ray Bay, which is the first stop that our guests usually go to right after they buy their tickets. The educators are giving them facts about the stingrays, how to safely pet them, how to safely feed them. If they go right over the lagoon bridge, they will come to the touch tank, where our educators are again instructing our guests how to touch the animals carefully giving them many facts about our local species. The educators are also very important at our shark tank, at our coral reef tank. Educators are completely involved at every exhibit here at the aquarium. So here at the Long Island Aquarium, there's a lot of beautiful tanks and when guests go up to them, they can see fish, penguins, sharks, um, their storyboards. There's lots of information that they can read um, but to get the full immersion, it's nice to be able to have somebody there to explain exactly what you're looking at. Interaction here is at the pinnacle of importance. I have had the wonderful opportunity to learn from seasoned professionals here at Long Island Aquarium about exactly how to break the ice with guests. When I first approach a guest to break the ice, I will welcome them to the Long Island Aquarium. I will introduce myself. I will ask them if they have any questions and I will be more than happy to share facts about the exhibits. Just a fun little silly fact about any of the animals gets the guests to smile, gets the guests looking at that animal, enjoying it and appreciating it more. Um, it doesn't have to be in depth. You don't have to know every little thing about every species. Just know one little fun fact. Just be excited. Just want to teach somebody something and go up and make their day. Being able to speak with the guests and find out the types of information that they want to know about, either from hearing random facts walking by, um, gives me the opportunity to jump right in with them and engage. So the aquarium has a lot of different departments and everybody works really well. It's a very well-oiled machine. The education department in particular and the volunteers are really crucial. You're there to smile, to make them feel welcome, to really just make them happier. Beginning here at the aquarium was a little overwhelming because there were so many facts to learn that I wanted to share with the public and be accurate. I met many new people in different departments and I really wanted to do my best job not only for the aquarium but for our guests. I love the opportunity here at the Long Island Aquarium to make wow moments with our guests. Probably the most exciting part of that is once you make that imprint on someone with an animal, it truly makes them want to protect that animal forever. And to be able to do that here and have the opportunity to do that here is absolutely priceless. Some people are going to be wowed just by the facts you give them. 
certain animals. They're gonna watch the sea lions and you can trace their little finger and they're gonna follow you and that's so exciting, especially for childlike people. Does, you don't have to be a child to be wowed and adoring up here. Um, just have that inside of you. One of my favorite things to do is talk to kids and anybody who doesn't know a lot about marine life and see that spark in their eye when they get excited, when they're learning something new. I love to see people get passionate and excited about things that I find passionate and exciting about too. I love making memories for our guests. When they come in here, I want them to leave with something. And being part of the education staff and having that direct interaction with people gives me just that ability. If I feel that the guest doesn't necessarily want to hear an educator, I might try to be humorous and say, we've got some good facts here. Or I might ask them if they've been to the beach, what animals they may have seen there, and then introduce the animals that we have and share some fun facts. So here at the aquarium, we really want those wow moments to impact everyone. A lot of our guests are coming here for the first time. They don't know these animals. That's going to impact them, not only just to want them to come back, but in the environment. You make an impact here, and you're going to see them go home and say, you know what, that turtle was so beautiful. I know that if I don't use this straw today, it's going to help them in the future. And we want them to always think about these animals and what they're doing outside of the aquarium. So making them excited here and making those round moments here is going to impact them and the future of our generations all around. Making memories here and giving people an experience that we can replicate every single time that they want to come in through our training and through our education, through our lectures, um, giving them that same experience makes them want to come back if they had a good experience. So I want to make sure that they had a great experience every single time that they come in. When somebody walks in that door, we want to bring out that child inside. We want them to be just as excited if they're two or if they're 102. Um, we all have it in there. I love working here at the Long Island Aquarium. 